Hi, my name is April Jennifer Choi. This is a video for William Williams. He was just asking about torches, like what to look for in torches, torch mods, where you can get torches, anatomy of torches, and I think that was about it. To start off, the basic torches, bare torches, just look like this. This is just bare aluminum. They don't really have a lot of weight to them. Um, you can find these basically anywhere. Made a little bit more popular are hollow torches, kind of like these. Uh, normal torches are somewhere between like 20 and 40-ish dollars. Um, you can get them powder coated, coated like from Defworks for a little bit more than that. Um, and these ones are hollow torches, which are usually go between 30 and 50. Uh, you can also get steel torches like these. Um, they're just a little bit heftier, allows you to do a little bit more with your torch work, and doesn't bend nearly as easily. And then for a hollow torch, all we're saying is that it's made from a hollow tube that allows you to pull vapor through it. Um, quick little way of testing hollow torches, and actually any torch, what you want to do is first give a decent tug on here. Um, there are some places that are just sewn onto the end, and if one of those threads break, they can easily come off. Also, you can go through and go ahead and blow through them to see how stiff they are. A real quick way that you can double check this is if you actually, right after you feel a torch, you blow through it, you should see bubbles everywhere. You notice the bubbles occur up here, in the middle, and even at the end. Otherwise, types of torches and where to get them from. Um, the first type of torch, just wherever. Like, I think the most popular basic type of torch I see is starting to come from Defworks. Uh, after that, hollow torches. The most popular places getting hollow torches are Dark Monk and Raised in Flames. Unfortunately, I gave away all my Raised in Flame torches at Fire Drums, but I still have a pair of Dark Monk torches. They'll usually be a bare steel right through here, and then bare steel here, plus this uh, will have um, some type of cushion. Mods you can do to this one, um, as well as any of the other torches, adding silicone a little bit up higher here, so you can grab up a little higher without burning yourself. I have contact grip right along through here, so that allows you to do things like fingertip fishtails, so on and so forth. Um, and then also you can take uh, palms, put palms right through the end, um, leaving a little bit of metal exposed so that you can then do your club work. And if you do get torches that have silicone all the way to the tip, kind of like these are almost, then you can cut them back a little bit so you can get a better seal so there's nothing going inside your silicone. Uh, I don't have a uh, raisin flame, I'll probably toss a picture up those. Those are usually like, really, really pretty. Uh, uh, Lobo puts a huge silicone sleeve over a lot of decorations, so they're absolutely gorgeous. He also has Triforce torches, which I'll throw a video up of that so that you can see that there's other things you can do with it as well as paintbrush ones and even uh, I believe his Zembon Zakura is um, a sword that comes out as well. Another popular set of torches um, includes Master Pokes Master Series torches. Um, they have a welded ring so that you can manipulate them. Unfortunately, I gave away all my um, Master's torches and manipulation torches away at Playthink. Um, and then other types of torches that are kind of unique include popcorn, which I also gave away all of those at Playthink. I, I will toss pictures of those up so you guys can see what I mean. So what to look for in torches. Uh, depending on what type of metal you want, you can either do aluminum or steel. Aluminum bends a little bit more often. Um, you want them with a decent wall thickness so they don't bend. Mods you can do to torches. For example, like these ones right here. I modded by adding silicone all over it. It just gives it a little bit more grip. Um, that allows you to do a lot of tosses, allows you to do contact moves a little bit easier. Like you can do angels. Or... Obviously, I've added a center uh, mark right here, once again, for like your fish tails or your knuckle tails, depending on how you want to manipulate them. Um, and then weights here and here allows just for your contact and spinning to be a little bit more consistent. These are a little bit too far to be considered collars. I would consider collars being one torches like these. These are a little bit longer so that they're a little bit more easy to contact and the collar gets a little bit bigger and opens up. This means when air goes underneath this and rushes up in your jellyfish type movements, um, that allows the air to rush up, makes it a little bit easier to jellyfish. There's collars of all sizes. If you want like really good contact wands, um, there are people who make wands like over 30 inches, uh, as well as double staves that are hollow that you can pull from, and levy wands you can pull from. I'll throw videos of those because I gave away my hollow levies and hollow double staves away. Other mods, as I said, you can add palms here as well as drilling a side hole instead. Um, what the side hole allows you to do is pull from the side, so if you do do a lot of juggling type movements, 
you don't end up with this beast right here hitting the ground, plugging it up. So then just making sure that you can pull from the side uh, rather than pulling straight from the end and getting clogged if you're doing a lot of juggling. Um, other specialty torches out there, nice decoration. So these ones I've used for a while. Um, they had sparkle tape over uh, underneath on top of, with silicone on top and then a center mark placed right here. You can get the sparkle tape from any hoop supplier. Uh, Dark Monk as well sells it and then just covered in silicone so they don't uh, get way too hot. Dark Monk also has a selection of silicone to just, but then you just have a whole bunch of colors you can pick from to make your torches whatever color you feel like. Another type of mod I tend to do uh, is just taking the silicone, wrapping it up all the way to the head right here. Once again, this allows you to do your hand extinguishes a little bit easier, um, makes your jellyfishing a little bit easier, and um, if you're going to do any blind drops behind your back, you're guaranteed to hit this piece without just hitting bare metal. Um, so therefore you can extinguish, hand extinguish behind your back um, in your routines without having to worry about getting burned or like making sure you get the whole thing because this blocks off the bottom. So if I do a hand extinguish, notice I don't bother covering the top here or the, rather the bottom of the head right there because it's already being blocked off mostly by the silicone. So this just makes even two inch torches super easy to do routines where you'll light something and then when you need to extinguish it you can draw attention to your other torch guarantee that this goes out you'll bring it back and people are wondering like where you how you extinguish this torch when they're all their attention is directed over here mods that you can do um, working on LED mods um, this one's you can see being used a few times that just allows you to have LEDs go up and down so you can do tricks with those Probably the mod I tend to tell people to do the most in the tubes. Uh, a lot of people don't add filters. The reason I just suggest filters is if you notice a lot of people when they draw from their, their hollow torch, liquid comes out and then if it gets on top of you or you pull it into your mouth, unless you're doing liquid traps intentionally, uh, it's a very, very bad idea to have white gas in your mouth. So therefore you can add a little bit of Kevlar just like this. But I usually put about here-ish. Um, the reason I put it about bearish is if you completely submerge your wick when you put it in your field, notice this rains dry. So when you take it out and you lift it up, you still have plenty of room. Even if there's liquid that gets inside, it gets soaked up by that first filter. Uh, probably the simplest filter I tell people to use is go ahead and take a jumbo sized Q-tip. Once it's a little bit bigger, depending on the size of your torches, you can pop it right back on the end here. So then if you do get liquid down, it absorbs um, through and then they're super easy to get back out. I think that's it. Uh, a couple of places in here are going to be coming out with carbon fiber torches. Basically it's just a carbon fiber tube. It will be end weighted. These ones happen to be carbon fiber as well to make sure the heat transfer doesn't go into the LEDs. Um, and I think that's about it.